So one of the biggest buzzwords that's been flying around this next generation launch has been cloud gaming. And a lot of people are jumping into it, Sony and Microsoft being two big players. Now, they've been going about it a little bit differently, at least it seems that way at the beginning. PlayStation focusing on PlayStation Now and streaming video games from servers to your console or to your TV. And uh, Microsoft playing more along the lines of using their cloud structure in order to run AI and to build some worlds and use it for calculation purposes in order to send information to the console. Now, that it doesn't mean, though, that Microsoft isn't looking at some sort of streaming service. But one of the things that has kind of hindered cloud gaming and a lot of the, the reasons why a lot of people say that it's not going to take off anytime soon and it's not very feasible and likely to become you know a fan favorite is because of latency. Whenever you push a button on your controller, you expect whatever you're pushing or doing on your controller to happen on screen. And you don't just expect it to happen, but you expect it to happen immediately. And whenever it doesn't happen immediately, then you get pissed because there's lag. And they say that gamers can notice as little as 60 milliseconds worth of latency. Now, whenever Microsoft Research was looking at latency, whenever they were streaming video games from the server to your console, they said latency could come all the way up to 250 milliseconds. So that is a long delay. So if gamers can notice as little as 60 milliseconds, they're saying if you stream it straight from the server to your console, there can be as much as 250 milliseconds. So Microsoft Research has been trying to figure out how do you overcome this? How do you get rid of that lag? And so they've come up with uh, one solution that they have codenamed DeLorean. And so this isn't some project that Microsoft is rolling out. Again, this is Microsoft's research team. So they're just publishing their findings on the work that they've been studying for for the past few months or years or whatever else. So what they do with DeLorean is DeLorean doesn't just stream the game from the server to your console. It actually streams the game and then it looks at where you're at in the game and it looks at all the different ways you could then make your next move. So your very next move could be to move forward or move back or to jump or to fire or to do a, a slide. So it looks at all of these different possibilities of actions that you could take and it goes ahead and renders those and sends that to the console. So then whenever you actually do push a button, the console has that information loaded up so it can then play that. And then it says that it removes that lag. They said they did a test with Doom 3 and Fable 3. They said both were selected because uh, one was a Twitch space shooter. And the other one, uh, both require uh, demanding response times. And they said they set testers down and they had them playing on one on a local server. So one was doing it normal, no input lag. And then the other one was doing it from the cloud. And they said the testers couldn't tell which one was the local game and which one was being streamed from the cloud. So definitely good news there as far as technology goes. Uh, possibly uh, something in the future that could be used for uh, streaming games. Uh, again, they're calling this DeLorean. Now they do say because you are having to render all of these scenes and then send them to the console for then it to be determined you know, what you're going to do, they do say because it's having to render so much that it does require more bandwidth than normal. Um, so they say this DeLorean option does add about 1.5 or maybe a little bit more uh, on top of the bandwidth that you normally need in order to stream. So there's still another hurdle there because of course everybody knows that the uh, internet infrastructure isn't up to speed, so to speak, in a lot of areas. And so there's a lot of areas where it can be improved. But of course, that's an area where it will be improved. 
And so we will keep an eye on this and we'll let you know if anything else changes. But Microsoft definitely looking into streaming games and trying to figure out how they can deliver those games with the least amount of latency. If you want to read more about it, links down in the description box. That does for me, The Red Dragon. Stay tuned right here to this channel and to VGN. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.